in 2010. In the midst of her group, she came across the Sue Ryder charity, through which she accessed the new Prince President, as she describes as life-changing. Maria has decided to raise money for this special organization, and says while she still gets sad, thanks to Sue Ryder, she says, now I know how to live. Graham White from the Willow has challenged himself to run the marathon to raise money for St. John Ambulance, an organization his mum has been volunteering for for over 50 years. Linda has been on hand to practice first aid at hundreds of events, as well as teaching and passing on her knowledge to countless others. She turned 80 last year and is still an active member. Fiona Perry from Stirling began running in 2016 as part of an almost nine stone weight loss journey. Within 12 months, she was completing her first marathon. And in 2023, she won her dream spot in the London event. However, Fiona never made the start line as a few months before race day, she contracted sepsis and almost died. But she's back a year later and ready to tick London off her bucket list. I know, it's sad, isn't it? Tell me a bit about your relationship with running. Well, I started to get back to having something of myself um, when I became, after I became a mum. And uh, it was part of a weight loss journey and just kind of escalated very quickly. Went from my first 5k and within 12 months started running, did my first marathon, first ultra. Kind of went with the uh, raised money for charity and tried to do as much as I could in that one space of time. And this is your first London marathon, isn't it? Unfortunately, because something went wrong last year. Yeah, so I waited nine years to get the ballot, finally got a place. And then the Christmas just before last year's marathon, I got back to pneumonia and I had a dance with a death, almost died with sepsis. So I had to prepare sadly because I just couldn't make it. I partly wanted to try, but you was right. But luckily I was able to prepare to this year and, you know, come back and try it. So. Has it been worth the wait? It's not the race I had dreamed of doing, i.e. fitness-wise, because I'm still coming back, but the spectators and atmosphere has been amazing, even right from the start. The, the communities have come out, we've been so supportive, it's been great. Great, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of the race. Thank you very much. Big Bird, how is it going? Well, it's going great, JJ. I think we're still in the chance of winning, aren't we? So, how are you finding it? I find it quite hard, but I'm keep going on. Must be getting tired now, mustn't he? Yeah. Hey. Because he starts at like 8 in the morning. Yeah. Hey. What are they doing it for? Oh, the soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, oh yeah, that must be proper awkward, that must not yeah. What the hell, he's done 44 of Oh, so that's, that's a bad one as well, isn't it? Yeah. Hey.
Did you get your boost so far? Yeah, absolutely. Can you get up against Sammy? We'll see you in that finish line. So much, thank you. Well, from those who've still got miles and miles to go to three with me who've already had a cup of tea, a shower, and are feeling quite chilled out, three of the British elites, and Mohammed, Mohammed, Anya Kulling, and Mari McKenna, it is great to see you all here smiling, and we'll reflect on your various